This is an ultrasound clip demonstrating the proximal aorta. A curvilinear probe is used and placed in a transverse orientation in the patient's epigastric region with the probe marker pointed towards the patient's right side. In this clip, you can notice there's quite a few structures that are occurring, but we can go ahead and break it down to make it easier. So I like to start posteriorly when I'm evaluating the aorta. First, I like to identify the spine. We can see this hyperechoic area right here with shadowing, which represents the vertebral body. Just anterior to this, we can see aorta. IVC here with its associated left renal vein. The SMA is this small round anechoic structure. And just anterior to it and crossing transversely is the splenic vein. At the top of the screen, we can appreciate liver. Now if we add color, the structures become a little bit more prominent. We'll go ahead and freeze it and review the structures once again. From posterior to anterior, we can appreciate spine, aorta, IVC, left renal vein, SMA, splenic vein, and liver. Now if we turn the probe 90 degrees and obtain a longitudinal orientation of the aorta, we now can appreciate two tributaries seen coming off the aorta. The more proximal one will be our celiac trunk, and diving more down towards the feet will be our superior mesenteric artery. Always remember that when evaluating the aorta, we should always evaluate in two planes. A transverse and longitudinal view are appropriate, ensuring that the aorta is not greater than three centimeters.